What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of The Long Dark where I got my hoodie on. They don't like that, but we're going to go see if the uh well, we're going to go see if the gray mother is dead downstairs. My guess is that she is going to be expired and then we get a gun and I can finally shoot some of these punk ass wolves. I can't be here anymore. My friend is out there and she needs my help. Please, tell me how to find her and I'll do whatever I can to help you get out of here. There's only one thing left to be done. You need to put her to rest. Put her to... I'm not giving up yet. On the other side of town, there's a farmhouse. You'll find a key to a safety deposit box somewhere in there. Go to the bank and bring me the box that matches the key. Then... You'll understand what happened to her. Wait, farm? Bank? What's this have to do with my friend? They left her, didn't they? She needed help, and they let her go. This is how we make it right. I don't understand. In the bank, you'll find the answers. Now go! Alright, calm down, lady. Uh, I figured that was probably what was going to happen. Is that, yeah, they've... I think the developers know at this point you've basically tapped out all the food in town and you're just, like, hunting rabbits and trying to skate by. And so they're just like, listen, here's 600 calories worth of soup every day. Good luck. So I know where the bank manager's house is. It's locked. I can't get in until I have the bank manager's key. The bank manager's key I don't think was inside of the bank. So we go to the farmhouse... Uh, I think we try to lock down. I'll do one quick scan of the bank real fast to see if I can find the bank. But what I'm guessing is we go to the farmhouse. The farmhouse takes us to the safety deposit box. The safety deposit box takes us to the bank manager's house. Bank manager's house gets us back into the vault or something like that. But let me check it one more time just to make sure that I haven't missed it hanging on a wall here somewhere. And that I'm not wasting my time. So, I found the key actually. It was inside this desk drawer right here that I guess I missed. Or maybe it wasn't able to be looted until you got to this part of the story. But there's the bank manager's house is inside that drawer right there in case you were looking for it. That gets us moving. We're actually mobile now. So I'm hoping we can make some really good ends in this episode and get some things done. Because I feel like we keep stalling out and hitting like random stuff that keeps us from moving forward. Uh, for right now, I've got some rocks in my inventory. There's about a thousand wolves outside though. So this might get a little bit hairy or I guess in this case furry I guess would be the more applicable. Oh my god. That is a blizzard right there. There's a dead... Uh, There's a dead carcass right there, but I don't know if I'm brave enough. There's a wolf outside. I'd really like to harvest it for the meat that's left on it because we are critically low on food right now. Like, ab oh, a backpack. How did I miss that? Hope nobody needs this anymore. Huh, just a backpack full of socks at the post office. I'm sure there's a story there somewhere. Like, why would you take a backpack full of socks to the post office? And I guarantee you in the comments, it'll be like, hey, man, that's a Canadian thing. You respect our nationality, son. And be like, that's a, that's a goddamn Canadian tradition. We go every single time you go to the post office. You put wool socks in your backpack and you like it, American. I'm like, okay, calm down. He's like, I'm sorry. I just, I'm just, I overreacted. I'm sorry. I'm like, it's okay. It's all right. I love Canada. My neighbors to the north might be our only hope in the near future. I don't know. We might need you guys like really badly very soon. I don't see the wolf around out here. But that doesn't mean that Woofy's not around here. The bank manager's house is one of these two or something over here. Uh, we can get through here pretty easily. I'm going to open the trunk real fast, too, because I don't think the wolves can get back here. Uh, we'll break this open. Hopefully there's something good. Newsprint and scrap metal. Shit on me. All over me. Just raining down on my head. Just poo everywhere. This is my life now. Uh, we need to get into... Oh, there's a wolf back there. Okay. Let's maybe not tempt him too much with the delicious and sultry smell of our flesh. I want that deer back there. I want that deer back there bad because we are low on food. So having a little bit of something, something for when we need to leave would be great. Uh, bank manager's house. I think this is it. Yeah, there we go. So we made it into the bank manager's house. He will undoubtedly have the key to or at least the code to the safe so that we can get in. In addition, he might have some. Oops, sorry. I threw a rock at your fridge. 
the greatest of Canadian sins. You never throw a rock at a man's fridge. Still eat this. Lake Whitefish. Eh, that's a little rough. It's rancid. I don't know. And while I do like Ruby, 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 so ho, ho. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do. It. We've got banged up dog food right there. Somebody's been rough with their dog food. Rough, rough. <laughs> well, we'll go in and I think we got a cabinet over here. We will search that on up. Let me see what I can glide through. We got some some pinnacle peaches right there. Hooray! Pinnacle peaches. A can of sardines. Yeah. All this stuff is good. We got a can opener right there that I can give to the old lady in order to uh, get our trust up a little bit. Maybe advance her table. We got some salty ass crackers over here, some internet crackers. And then uh, there's a joke in there somewhere. We've got a cabinet on this side with a ragged simple parka. I will take that actually. A parka sounds great. Uh, we got a couple of drawers, mostly clothing, more than likely going to be in these little bastards over here. But we'll break them open real fast. We got a thin wool sweater. Okay. Sounds good to me. I'm going to holster my rock for right now. That's right. I got a custom rock holster, son. You don't even know me like that. Keep it on the side so that when people walk up on me, they're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Wah, wah, wah. Draw, kid. And then I chuck a rock at him. Like, ah, did you just hit me with a rock? This? Some new cargo pants in there. Some brand new new cargo pants. Stacy's grape soda. Well, Stacy, I don't think you're going to need it, so I'm going to take it. Okay, Stacy? All right. Uh, we got a book on that side. Doesn't look like there's inside anything inside the book. I was wondering if maybe there was like a secret compartment or something. Ah, the bank vault code. 19308. I will take that with me. So we've got the bank vault code now. Easy enough. Simple. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we gotta walk our dumb ass all the way out to the farmhouse in the middle of a blizzard in order to grab, I guess, uh, the key to a bank vault, I suppose, is what we're looking for now. You'd think a bank manager would make better money out here, but I guess not. He's probably like, it's a small town bank manager, I guess. When I think banking and finance, though, I think like you got money. I got a friend that like, I was studying geology when I was in college, and my buddy went into banking and finance, and dude, he is rolling in ducats right now. You have no idea. That dude's got the Skrilla. Like, I don't know, man. If you want to be a thief for a living, it seems like you really, you really don't become like a criminal, you know? Don't become a burglar. Become a banking and finance manager. That's the best way to be like a legalized American criminal for a living. Uh, let's see here. Ain't nobody loving bankers nowadays. Not after everything that's gone on and, ooh, we got the wind at our back. Hell yeah, sounds good to me. Let's go over to the farmhouse. If I knew the area code for Milton, I would put it right there. We'd be like, we in that 107. Yeah. You always gotta have like that soulsy person in the background, and then you got that beat that drops just. <laughs> All right, uh, I let my cold go up a little bit, but I think I, I had to duck inside. It's too cold out, dude. It's like really cold, like crazy cold. And so I had to duck inside real fast. I'm gonna break a crate and we'll make a fire outside that I can wait next to. We do have the normal wolf problems. Uh, we are still kind of dealing with that too. So, you know, that's the way life goes sometimes. I'm gonna go outside, we'll make a fire right out in the front yard next to the gas pumps because frankly, that sounds like an amazing life decision. All this gear is slowing me down. Dude, it's not the gear that's slowing you down, it's this ridiculous weather. So I ducked into the gas station. I don't know why I came over to the gas station, though. I'm a little bit confused. I think I got turned around. I was walking, like, this way, and then I think with the blizzard and everything, I ended up getting turned around real bad. Uh, the Paradise Meadows Farm. We already found the thing, so wait, what? So find something precious. Uh, search Milton Farmhouse for a safety deposit box key. Retrieve the contents of the safety deposit box and return it to Gray Mother, yeah. Like, I think that'll be fine. What I need to do right now is I need to... Oh, yeah, I was going to make a, a camp on a fire. Camp on a fire? Would you like to be made? I am going to use accelerant on this one because it seems like a decent plan. And then I'm just going to chillax next to the fire for a little bit using this reclaimed wood. Uh, we'll throw that into there right there. Perfect. Two hours worth of heat. Do I have anything to cook at the moment? Or are we pretty much stuck with what we've got? If I can make some coffee, that actually sounds great. Coffee sounds fantastic. So if I can kill some time on that one, we might as well. So there's my coffee. 
I'm gonna make two cups of coffee. We're gonna drink that to keep our energy levels high and also to get some calories and some liquids inside of ourselves. Now, you probably wanna stay away from heavily caffeinated beverages uh, if you're trying to warm up. I'm sorry, if you're trying to stay hydrated. But in the case of staying warm, it actually stick to your ribs a little bit, make you feel a tad better. So fatigue reduced, uh, we had the warming up benefit. And so there it is. And then with the fire that we have for right now, what I'd like to do is we will just pass an hour's worth of time until we feel, oh shit, no. Our fire burned out early because of the blizzard. So that is problematic, but I can't see where the damn right now. So we're gonna have to figure something out. I am very likely to just walk into the side of some wolves on accident when we're in the weather like this, but I'm gonna give it a go and see how it hangs out. Dude, the wind chill is brutal right now. Holy bejesus. So I took a little bit of time to warm up inside of a house that apparently I hadn't looted, so we ended up with a little bit more food too, which is great. Because our food supply was looking ugly. Ugly. Dude, it's so cold out today. We're gonna have to do this like straight risky style, although we are getting a little bit warmer as time goes along. The visibility is actually the part that I'm gonna struggle with the most. Uh, we gotta get back to the Milton Crossing over here. And then we find old lady's house, there it is. So we go back this way, I think, is the way that's gonna cut us over to where we wanna be for right now. I'm gonna try and keep my energy consumption kinda where it's at. I mean, we've got fire supplies and we should be able to chop up furniture inside the farmhouse if we can make it out there. But we're setting out and hopefully nothing goes wrong. On the road again. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka. Just can't wait to get down on the road again. Crossing rivers, playing long dock with my friend. I think we're coming up on it right now. It should be the Baca residence. No, not Baca. It's Todd now. Benjamin Baca. Sweeney Todd is one of my favorite musicals. I'll be honest, I put on a hard front, but I love musicals. I think musicals are great. I find musicals to be absolutely delightful. While we're trekking around here, though, hopefully we can make it on into this house. Uh, we'll probably stay the night here, would be my thought. I think we can make it back, but... Oh, never mind, the weather just got worse. It looks like it's going to fluctuate on us. So what we're looking for inside of this house, as I understand it, is we needed some kind of safety deposit box key. Uh, we've got the key to the bank manager's house. We've got the combination to the safe, which was like 1930-08 or 1908-30 or something like that. And then we've... I think he said the key was here somewhere. Yeah, now we just got to find a key for the Grey Mother. And so where we're going to track this down, I've no idea. It could be, frankly, like anywhere. More than likely, looking for a key inside of this place would be tough. But I think I hit most of this already is the big part, so let me get some illumination, because I think that's gonna be the first part that ties all this together. If I was a key, I'd be in the study here somewhere. Well, so far, so bad. I've been peeking around now for a couple of minutes, and I don't see a key anywhere. Uh, it's gotta be, like, hidden, then. It's gotta be, like, laying in a corner somewhere or up underneath something. I was hoping... Yeah, I agree, buddy. I was thinking that it would just be spawned on a shelf or something somewhere, but it looks like I was incorrect in that guess. Uh, trash can, maybe? No, I don't know why they put the key in the trash can, in all fairness. I don't think that would be the kind of place you might find something like that. No key in the bathtub. There's still some water around here, and I did miss some food while I was in the area, so we picked up some extra food while we were here, too, so this wasn't a complete and total waste. But let me keep looking for it. So as it turns out, this urn right here looks like you can mess with it, so I think this might be our winner. So there's the bank deposit key right there. So that belongs to the farmer that we were looking for, I guess. Uh, we've got the things that we need now to go ahead and get the safety deposit box. We can bounce on back. I know there's a lot of, like, edits and jumping around in this episode, but hey, I feel like it's for the better of all of us, in all honesty. Like, frankly, you don't want to see me walking across a snowy hill for the next hour and a half or whatever. So... It helps us make progress. It helps us make progress in this thing. We are carrying around way too much boo shit with us right now. I'm going to drop a t-shirt. I've picked up a lot of random stuff like along the way. Apparently, we are slightly wet. Uh, that's a new feature that I actually hadn't seen before. And so our clothing gets wet now. Uh, we've got a thin wool sweater right there that I think is a much better gamble than wearing just... We've got a flannel that we were wearing up underneath our clothing. But I think we can do better if we 
wear something else. Uh, we also have a parka. I don't know exactly how that's going to help us out. It's at 40% right now. My guess is that maybe it's better than what we have going on. We're already wearing a snow coat anyways. So are we warmed up? Is that something that I don't have to worry about right now? Okay, so if we're warmed up, we've got plenty of energy. We've got the key. I'm going to try and make the run back. It's going to be in the middle of the night. It's going to be a little bit of a mess, but maybe it'll work out. Maybe. Let me see how cold it is outside. Uh, actually, not that cold by comparison to how cold it was previously. So, yeah, let's walk this thing on back in. Oh, sleepy town of Milton Place, your winds blow horizontally. If that's the best thing you can say about a location, like, so what do you have to say about Milton? I'm like, well, the wind blows kind of horizontally, I guess. That's kind of cool. The wind blows horizontally. That's all you can say about it. Dude, where I live, it's hella windy like this, too. Except it rains, and so the rain goes sideways like this. Yeah, I live near the ocean, so it's super windy, like, all the time. Like, 24 hours a day, I'm not even shitting you. Like, from, like, 12 o'clock to, like, 5 o'clock every day, it'll die down. But I guarantee you, once nighttime comes, it gets windy every single night, no matter what. Every night. You can't get around it. It just gets hella windy. So we've got all the stuff that we need. I'm trying to turn this thing in quick. I'm trying to do this thing dirty. So let's get up in and dirty, dirty. Uh, let's get up in here. We got the bank vault. It was, oh, let me look at the code real fast then because I have forgotten. We also have an Astrid's hard case. Okay, I forgot we even had that. Pastor's note, hymnal, no, not what I'm looking for. Bank vault code, a 1930-08. I was right the first time. Uh, let's go 19ers. And then we'll go back to 30. All the way back around. And then 08. I guess I could have just, like, mashed my way through it. Because you can't even try to pick the lock until you actually have the code. Swing the... Oh, hey, door trying to take me out. Assassin. Assassin. Uh, is there anything... Let me see if there's anything on the shelves in here. I doubt anybody would keep anything useful like food or whatever in here, but... We can take a look. Uh, it looks like mostly books, cardboard shelves, metal container with nothing inside of it, metal container with presumably nothing inside of it as well, but I'll hate myself if I don't look, and I don't like hating myself. I really don't. Uh, the deposit box, we, oh, we can go through all of them. It's probably just going to be mostly cash would be my guess. I mean, that tends to be what people keep in safety deposit boxes. We've got a book. We've got deposit box key seven. I think 15 was the one, but I'm going to go through all of these pretty rapidly. Maybe somebody's just like, this is my favorite can of soda. Of all the sodas, this is my favorite. I shall put you in the safe. There it is. I don't want the cash because that's just Tinder. It looks like there's keys around that allow us to get up in here. I wonder if there's guns or anything hidden up in any of these. Like people got guns and shit inside of here they're not supposed to have. So that, there you go. Somebody's favorite chocolate bar was inside of there. This chocolate bar is sacred to my people. It has been among us for many, many decades. I mean, it tastes a little crunchy to me. I don't know, man. Alright, so Grey Lady. Let's run back up over on this side. Or Grey Matron or whatever her name is. Grandmother. Booty ass old lady who's definitely going to die once I leave. I like that. I like that one the best. I'm going to call her booty ass old lady who's going to die the second I leave from now on. That would be booty ass old lady. So it'd be like bowel who's going to die. Well, then did you find it? I did. I did. Here's the safety deposit box from the bank. I still don't understand. Shh. Give me the box. <gasps> you sent me to steal jewelry for you? You said this would help me find her. Have faith, outsider. It will. Do one last thing for me, and then I will tell you what you need to know. I'm finished with this. I'll find my own way out of here. Then you will die like the others. Just one more task for Grey Mother. The man who fell from the sky. And then you'll get the answers you need. <laughs> How about I hit you with a brick until you give me what I want? How's that sound? I mean, that gun's laying kind of precariously on the floor right now. You and your water socks are about to get dealt with. So, what's this last thing you need from me? Right or wrong from the past, outsider. 
That's all I ask. How can I do that? Take these pearls to Lily. Lily? All this time I thought you were talking about my friend. Who's Lily? You'll find her at the graveyard. Okay, where is that? Near the church. You passed it on your way into town. Okay. All right. Do I get some more soup? Yay, I get some more sopa. Let's go ahead and get our soups inside of ourselves. Mmm, that delicious menudo. Dude, I've never had good menudo. You know that? I have never once in my entire life had menudo that I was like, I wish that... Every time I have menudo, I'm just like, this is totally overrated. Every single time. Maybe somebody's grandma will make better... Somebody's abuelita makes better menudo than I've had. But for real, I've had menudo at like five different places, and every single time... It has been incredibly disappointing compared to how people describe it to me. I think it's the cow tongue or the tripe or whatever it is that's in there. It just doesn't do it for me. It's kind of close to nighttime right now. I'm sort of thinking that maybe it's a bad idea for us to adventure out without taking a little nappy pie. Our energy level... Well, it's not that bad, actually. Our energy level's okay. Can I, like... Let me, let me wait for an hour. We'll see how it looks after I wait for one hour and get my heat levels up. That's not too bad. I think we can make it manageable. Let me go outside real quick. No, we lost daylight. Once you lose daylight, when you're in survivalism, like, fucking around at night, it's just a bad plan. Like, I can't even find my way around the house right now. It's so dark. Let me break out a match real quick. This lady need to get on her light game. For real, though. There it is. I knew it. Life in the long dark must be difficult, man. You gotta, like, wake up at 2 in the morning every day to drink water or else you die. People's metabolisms in this world, dude. They need to work on that. I'm just saying, like, if you're, if you're going through that much water, you might have, like, a kidney issue or something. You just peen it all out. You got issues. You got, like, some stones or something that need to get vibrated up out your body. That's how they do it. They got a little machine that goes wub, 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 wub. It's like a little vibrating machine thing. Oh, good. The weather isn't absolute shit. That, that's pleasant. Like, I'll take that. That's a victory in the long dark, man. Anytime you wake up and the weather is not absolute shit, it's a good day. Now, there are, like, a quadrillion wolves over here. There's, like, a bazillion of them. Like, there's a lot of wolves over in this area, so this might get kind of interesting. Luckily, I've got flares, and so I'll probably break out one of those. My last flare. And that's how they say it in French Canada. It's a flare. That's how they say it up in French Canada. You gotta get, like, the gargles in there. The flare. It's my flare. I can never do that with German stuff either. My mom tried to teach me German words because my mom speaks German. And I'm like, mm, I can't do like the <laughs> thing. I can't do it. I just, I could roll my R's, but that's because I grew up in a place where like there's loads of Spanish speaking people. And so you got to have like a, you've got to at least be able to understand Spanish. If you don't understand at least like spoken Spanish, although Mexican people, I'm talking about people actually from Mexico, y'all speak Spanish hella fast. Like, I tell all my friends that speak Spanish, I'd be like, you need to slow that shit around. Like, speak to me like you would a small brain-damaged child. Like, speak to me very slowly, and I'm good, man. But you gotta speed it down, you can't just be like, rrr, rrr, rrr. you can't be, like, up in there like, oh, like, speaking hella fast and shit. Like, I'll catch, like, every other word if you're going, like, hella, like, butt-ass fast, but I can't. Hey, there's some wood over here. If you go, like, hella fast, I, I lose it, man. I lose it. I know kitchen Spanish. You gotta be, you gotta be gentle with me. You can't manhandle me with that deep, like, oh, where are you from, you know? Oh, I'm from Chihuahua. Like, you can't be, you can't be, I'm ch from Chihuahua, you know what I mean? You can't do that. You can't be, like, on that Mazatlan, like, banging it out hella fast down in Tijuana or whatever it is. I just, it's too fast. You gotta slow it down for me. So it looks like I found our gravy yard. We're looking for one Lily. Oh, Lily Barker. I found her on the first try. Hell yeah, I'm the best at everything. Yay for me! Nineteen sixty nine to nineteen eighty five. Died when she was sixteen years old. Ain't that a damn crime? Ain't that a shame? Just starting to make it to the point in life where it starts to get better. It starts to get awesome. And then we've got Liam Coat down in here. A bunch of people dead. We've got Jessica Roy, who was twenty five. Man, people don't live long around here. 
Y'all need to work on your life expectancy. You need to build a hospital or improve public health. I know how to do it in Tropico, but I don't know exactly how to do it, like, in your video game. You know what I mean? Like, this is a different game. I can do it 100% if we were playing, like, Tropico. I just build another hospital on your block, and it'd be perfectly fine. It looks like we've got a letter on the side of the... What is this right here? Public notice from the Great Water Bear... Due to seismic activity, the underground water mains in Milton are shut down. An outbreak of E. coli exposed several faults in the system. Use bottled water until further notice. Okay. Man, things just went wrong out here in Milton. This is like the decay of a city, man. This is like the, some of that shit you see out in coal country here in America. Now that the coal industry's falling apart. It's just like, dude, it's like ghost towns and busted up Appalachian dreams, dude. It's ugly. Let's get back inside. And I swear to God, I'm going to tell this old lady, if I don't... I know you're sad about your daughter... But I'm going to have to hit you with a flare if you don't give me some useful intel. Alright? We've gone well past the point of just generosity. I've done so many nice things for you at this point. And, uh, I'm going to need you to reciprocate. Lily was your daughter. You have a good heart, Mackenzie. You see things others would miss. But the name, Lily Barker, related to the farmer? He said they were liars and cheats. The years have made me angry. Lily was my daughter. Our daughter. I am also a Barker. The farmer was my husband. You lived apart. Yes. Our Lily died climbing. She wanted to summit all the peaks on Great Bear. She was young, already very talented. One day she went out alone. I said no, but he said yes. Let her go. She needs to face it alone. So she faced it alone. And fell. I never forgave him. And the pearls? They were my mother's. I gave them to Lily on her 16th birthday, the year she died. I wanted the pearls buried with her, but her father wanted to keep them to remember her. and never spoke again. Losing a child is... Like... losing your own life. But now, maybe you can save your friend. And Lily's death doesn't have to be for nothing. How? Take this key. Upstairs, in my Lily's old room, is a trunk with her old climbing things. Take the rope and the map, follow Lily's path, and you'll find the back way through the mountains. It's the only way to find the route to Perseverance Mills. I hope you find her. Thank you. What will you do? I'm content to sit here. And think of my Lily, resting with her favorite pearls. You've done a lot for me, Mackenzie. I won't forget about you. I... I'll try to come back. Or I'll send help for you. There's bound to be someone out there who can help. My journey is finished. But yours is only beginning. Go. Go and don't think of Grey Mother or Milton. We're of the old world now. The new world is for the strong to survive. Jesus. Alright, well now that I'm all down and bummed out in the middle of an episode... God, I'm kind of glad, you know the thing is, like, when we did, oh my god, Ori in the Blind Forest, I was a little sniffly, bro. At the beginning of that game, I was like, oh, Jesus! 
Like, it was hard to do that episode, man. It was a struggle. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and see what we're doing with her trust levels. Uh, as far as what we can talk about, we can talk about the collapse, because we got that up there. You mentioned the collapse a couple times. I can't imagine it, Mainlander. We were already on our knees. So, what happened? Uh, apparently she said, let me tell you how it was, and then that was that. Alright, whatever. I didn't want any real concrete information anyways. Can I loot your stuff yet? If you're just gonna lay here and die, can I have your things? It's like quitting an MMO. Like, can I have your stuff? I'm not trying to be greedy or anything. I'm just saying, like, if you don't want it anymore, and you're good, you're just gonna lay here and die, like, can I have it? What's inside the trunk? Pop the trunk, G! Uh, we got a mountaineering rope. Uh, Mackie Nod jacket. Okay. Uh, climbing socks. Okay. Uh, Lily's map that shows her route heading out of the Milton area. Alright, well, we're gonna have to do something that apparently Lily was unable to do, and she was an experienced climber. So this might be kind of an interesting little adventure for us here in the long dark. I'm thinking that uh, we'll make our way out here, so let me have a look at the map. It looks like Paradise Lost is down there out to the back of... That was pretty much where we went, where there was the climbing station or whatever. So what is that right there? Is that some kind of weird little devil post? Like, what the hell is that? Have orcs been here? What is that thing? Good oh, lord. Meat's back on the menu, boys. Let's be on our way, then. Uh, we've got fairly decent supplies. I'd like to see our water supply be a little bit better. But that should be enough to last for three or four days. Um... It'll be close. I mean, one day is around. Actually, it's only enough for about two and a half days. So looting a toilet or two before we get up out of here. Although, I've got firewood, so we should be all right. If I've got firewood, we should be chill. Uh, are we fully... Oh, we are fully over-encumbered. Let me have a look here and see what I can ditch. Ah, shit. Wolf! Ah, smack him in the face! Murder him! Murder him! Die! How's there going to be a wolf right out in front of the building, man? There's so many wolves in story mode. There is an absurd quantity of wolves. Like, no lie, there are a lot of these little bastards all over the place. Uh, obviously, I could probably do away with most of the things inside of here. All I want to do is manage my inventory, and the game is just being mean to me. The game is being mean to me. I don't like when the game mean to me. Uh, we got climbing socks. I don't know how that helps me. I Expedition quality socks. Okay. I could probably ditch some cargo pants. I don't think I'm going to need that. Don't think I'm going to need those either. But by and large, not a lot of goodies in here. I just want to get myself back into squint area, or I'm sorry, sprinting areas so that I can get out of here quick. Uh, if I go this way over here, I think that's going to take us to the gas station. We do have a dead deer over on this side. Not going to have time to, I think, pull him apart, though. Let's just focus on getting up the mountain for right now. Dude, you've got to be shitting me. Like, why are there so many wolves? Like, oh my god, dude. There are so many. And they don't even have the good courtesy to die when you hit them. That's the worst part. How's my health looking right now? It can't be good. We have no afflictions except for busted-ass clothes. Great. Ugh. That's my one irritation so far, is it's not even like playing stalker mode, in all honesty. It's not like playing stalker mode in survival sandbox mode. There's just so many wolves! Like, God, go away for ten seconds! Just go away! So navigation-wise... I got another wolf on me. It's just a never-ending parade of wolves fucking with me today, I guess. Uh, he's following me in. I'm gonna go inside to do this then. I just, I can't deal with wolf obstructions right now. I'm just losing my mind dealing with these wolves. Uh, so we got the little building out in front. It means that if we go out from the back of this place, we should be able to hit the picnic area. And that should lead us to... It was out through the back, was it? Yeah, it was out through the back. That's fine, too, because I don't want to tempt any wolves. I got that hiccup right there. Got good old Dane just messing with me, as usual. Those of you who are new to the channel, Dane is my hiccup that shows up randomly in the middle of episodes. Always once. It's never a full case of hiccups. It's always like a gook, and then it's gone. Just that one hiccup, like, what is that? Why does that happen? Like, why is that a thing that I've, the apparently, the great Canadian lord has decided to mess with me about? Alright, let's head up the mountain. We'll see what we can find here. We've already been to the picnic spot, so this should be fairly easy to find our way around. It shouldn't be a hard trip. Uh, the temperature's good. Our health is a little bit bad. But if... 
we keep ourselves fed. Damn it! Fucking wolves! Ah! There's porta potties. That's always a good sign. That means there's something useful around here. Porta potties are like mankind's way of saying, "Hey, there's a useful outdoors thing here." You ever notice that? Like, there's only porta potties at locations where like useful activities happen. I'm just saying. If there's a porta potty out here, it means something happens out this way. Uh, we're in the lumber yard right now. All right, so back up the mountain, having avoided our wolf troubles as per as per normal, man. There are a lot of wolves around, and they all seem to want to hurt me. Uh, we got to find Lily's favorite climbing spot over here, which it's at a state park, so go figure. Apparently not the most original of climbing spots, but still a climbing spot nonetheless. Nonetheless. Um, I don't see any of the anchor rocks around here. I think it's probably this one right here. That looks a bit like an anchor rock to me. The game has a very specific graphic that it tends to use. And you've got like anchor rocks and things like that. So let's see if we can get the rope bound up to right here. And if we can, we'll start moving our way down the mountain. Uh, so are you the anchor rock I was looking for? Yep. I have a bad feeling I'm never going to see this place again. Well, that's fine. Fair warning. But I'm not about rep grinds, so that's not what we're doing here today. Uh, let's go down the rope after eating a little bit of lunch, actually, to get ourselves some food back up and going. I want to go with... Where are my cups of soup at? I thought I had a bunch of cups of soup that I've been picking up off the ground, but I don't see it. Eh, whatever. We'll eat a whole bunch of these nutty bars or whatever. Mmm, delicious nutty bars. Yay, they're so nutty inside my mouth. Hooray, nutty bars! Nutty bars for days. Nothing satisfies hunger like a thing with a squirrel on it. We've also got some condensed milk. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take care of that business as well. I thought that I had cups of soup around, but I don't see them. Maybe it's in the medical menu? I don't know. I thought I had, like, cups of soup that I had never eaten. Weird. Maybe it goes bad after you leave the house or something or removes from your inventory. I don't know. Too encumbered to climb. Really? Too encumbered to climb, huh? You can only take, like, a certain collection of stuff with me? Well, then, we will probably call it right here. I will deal with this inventory situation. Thank you for joining me for another episode of The Long Dark. Please stop in for the next one. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.